Well, historic weekend uh, in hockey again. An ACHA team making the jump to NCAA. Got the head coach of the Linwood Lions, Rick Zombo, with me. Coach, we've talked uh, everything that we can talk about on the podcast, but this is a different audience. This is the preview. You've had your opportunity to get the guys out on the ice for the first time. Uh, give me a thumbnail of uh, a recap of how this first uh, skate went here at Mariucci Arena. Um, I could be cute and say that I was good. Uh, I could be honest with you that as a coach, I'm never, never really satisfied. Yeah. You really have to get used to a routine. So this is the first week that we've had to actually have a routine, a game routine. So there's a lot of learning going on. Uh, when we go on the road, I make certain that our guys practice hard. Yep. Uh, even tomorrow, we'll practice hard. It's, it's important. Uh, that quality time in practice only makes you better in the long run. Getting familiar with the, the width of the rink was extremely important. Yep. Uh, they didn't like it, I had, uh, but uh, it, it was a practice today to, to really resonate the fact that the outside of the rink is a vacuum. You don't want to get sucked into it. The game eventually comes into the middle, and uh, they got exhausted out there, and you just can't chase the puck. You under, have to be a smart player and understand your angles. Okay, your program is no secret at the ACHA D1 level. You have a championship culture. How much of that bleeds over to this group? Uh, it, it doesn't. Yeah. It doesn't. Uh, I could tell you I'm very proud of every player that we had last year with the ACHA program. Even the players two years prior to that, we had a good enough team that we could have we could have won. Right. Um, but but it's, it's a whole different animal, uh, especially when you're playing the Gophers. The Gophers are always in the top five to, to, to win the NCAA. Um, so it's a challenge that we're looking forward to. We want to make certain that uh, we play the best, we per pursue to be the best. Um, Korean engineering means that you, you take a lot from somebody else. Yep. Why recreate the, the wheel? Um, and everything's a learning curve. And, and what's great about this game is that uh, there's only one puck in 60 minutes. So um, there's an awful lot of attrition, uh, adversity, and every shift gets multiplied uh, when you go against stiff competition. And now we're going against the best competition to open our season up. So uh, what type of expectations that I have, I'll, I'll keep them to myself. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm, I'm familiar with the fact how long the game is. Uh, we definitely can't be chasing a game early. Uh, in the first period because then we'll never never catch stride or touch the puck you know all we'd be doing was illuminated every single player on their team and it's, it's important for me that I watch the development and and watch how our players handle handle the stressor and it becomes stress inoculation against the Gophers. Yeah absolutely um, I noticed when the guys went on the ice they looked a little bit starstruck but when they came off they looked confident Did, is that possible? Mm -hmm. It is possible. That, that's growth and understanding that uh, the environment becomes more and more comfortable. Uh, it's like in a game, the more you play, the, the better you get and the better you settle into it. Uh, if you roll three lines, it, the forwards love it because they're always on the ice. You don't have time to worry about the atmosphere or the opponents are back out there. No different than 4D. You don't get tired in those situations because it's an inoculation, uh, because it's forced on you, and then you just go out and play. Um, when we go to this, it, it started yesterday, you know, when we stepped into the hotel, you know, yep. we're big time hotel. We, we stay at, you know, the Gophers Choice Hotel and, and uh, right now you're on center stage. Everything you do, you got to make certain they carry yourself. There's no paycheck, but you're, you're treated like a pro and you're expected to act like a pro. Okay, I got to ask you this because your years at North Dakota, you played the Gophers. You didn't play them here. Um, you played them at the old, uh, the old arena, right. but... Um, it, memories coming back to you as a player. Do you think about this place and that uh, battle against them? Of course. They hated us. We hated them. Um, it's always, you know, two of the best teams always playing each other. And, and uh, somebody's got to go through. You know, it's, it's very similar to um, Tampa Bay and, and Florida. Last regular season, one of those teams have to go through. So it's a matter of drawing a line of sand and, and see who buckles underneath the pressure. So going to North Dakota... Um, we understood that. We understood that you had a target on you. And, you know, the Gophers, they have a target on themselves, too. You know, yeah. they know that every time they play, they're going to get the a, uh, the a game of anybody that they play against. And uh, for us and, and for me and the coaching staff, it's making certain that uh, we improve. Uh, we put in a good competitive effort, and we don't beat ourselves. Our competition is stiff enough. Uh, we got to make certain that we don't beat ourselves. And, and, and that, that you got to make sure that you have the right conditioning and the right frame of mind. Give me a thumbnail of what you think the difference is between championship ACHA D1 and coming into this program where you're going to face number two in the country right now. How big of a jump is that? Is it measurable? Scott, we're playing against NHL players. 
we're, we're playing, this is the NHL of the future. Yeah. Okay, so the ACHA, the very few of those players are ever going to think about playing in the NHL. Yep. I can boast that we had one at Lindenwood that yep. played in the NHL. Um, but, you know, he's a special kid. Right. You know, it's a matter of uh, college sports is all about recruiting and, and making certain that when you recruit, you recruit for the right players that you want to coach as far as a coach goes. Uh, hopefully that we're in a position where we have a development where we retain players for four years. Um, that makes a big difference. The Gophers have a program that they're going to play pro and get lured with the money. And, you know, three players that they had to finish uh, in the spring last year decided to come back and only made them better. They, they want to win a national title. And uh, I love that for them. Uh, I'm sure Bob Moscow loves it that they have that type of staff and players back. Um, so it's a program that we'd love to emulate that everybody wants to spend their four years and get a degree out of Lindenwood. All right, final one for you. Uh, I know you're taking these one day at a time and you're looking at the whole picture at the end of the year. What would you consider a success this year at the end of the year? What, what does Rick Zombo want to see from this team? Well, for me, everything gets measured daily. Our, our players get uh, evaluated every single day. Um, the games that we're playing obviously become center stage and, and everybody can be a practice player, but the really good players can execute during the game. Executing at center stage is really important for me. Yeah. Um, we don't have a frozen four. We don't have an AQ. It, it's important that we understand that our playoff hockey is every time that we step on the ice. Sure. Um, if we execute the way that I expect us to do, and we have growth throughout from month to month and week, you know, weekend to weekend, hopefully at the end it would be something that I'd be extremely proud of. Uh, I'd be proud uh, just if the guys understand uh, who they are. And the way I look at life is that if you know exactly who you are, you, you can't be a loser. You win everything, and you have to own that. However, um, you have to challenge yourself every day to be, become better. So I use the terminology, I want players that are abnormal. I think in my position as a coach, it's very important that um, hockey emulates life and uh, the lessons that they learn as a hockey player hopefully carry over with them uh, through everyday life when the responsibilities, keeping a roof over their head and food in front of their kids becomes far more important than wins and losses and goals and assists. Coach, I appreciate your time. Good luck tonight, uh, tomorrow night and the weekend and certainly for the entire season. Uh, absolutely proud to be covering your program all the way through. Thank you. You've been watching us. I mean, you've been following us for the last couple of years. You're at a national tournament. Uh, it's a completely different team, but a much greater challenge. Um, and that's the way life is. We make sure we live in the present and uh, prepare for the, for the future. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Welcome back in. It's the Lindenwood Lions preview. It's a historic weekend as uh, the Lions jump into NCAA hockey. Um, I got another Minnesotan with me because you got to keep bringing them on. I'm a Minnesota guy myself, so uh, right, yeah. we got to we got to keep bringing them on. So I've got Hunter Johannes with me from uh, Eden Prairie. Correct. All right, you play today. I see you make the transition. You jump over to Lindenwood. Why? Uh, you know, I think just to change a game like this game will be more uh, more more my pace, more pro hockey. So um, I think Coach Zombo is a big part of it too. He's he's played in the NHL and he knows that game, so that's going to be a big part of it for me. The success that AIC has had over the years is, is pretty remarkable. Atlantic Hockey is pretty good, and AIC has been the top of that. Um, what was it like last year for you playing there and getting a chance to go to the national tournament? I mean, it's good. I got a couple chances while I was there, and obviously I'm super grateful for my time there. I learned a lot. Um, and just getting, I think, a few sniffs at those big games like the North Dakotas and um, stuff like that kind of set me up to come here and like now look we're playing Minnesota we'll be playing North Dakota we'll be playing the Michigans so you know you get a few sniffs of it out east but now it's like here I'm playing it every game and it's going to be good for me I think for that bigger style. Tell me about Lindenwood you get there it's a small university but the uh, hockey culture is second to none it's uh uh, at the ACHA level they're champions right and yeah. they uh they roll over now how much does that carry over do you think? I mean, it's huge. Like coming from Minnesota, I don't know what the hockey community is going to be like there, just because it's so big here. But then I go down there, and like you're at a place with like our facility, and you have the blue skate in there, and you have big guys just walking around, you know, in the facility, and it's like um, just good to see, good to be around, good atmosphere. So, you've been around these guys practicing for a little while now. What does this team look like to you? How do you assess it? 
Well, I mean, we have some guys who have been here, which kind of have hold, held this culture that's that's been here, which is good. And then we have new transfers like me that are bringing in different parts from, from other places all around the country playing college hockey. And then even our younger guys are good. So we're going to have some good additions, and it's going to be a good mix of people. Give me a thumbnail of what it was like to be on this ice surface tonight for the first time. Well, I mean, I've played out here a lot before, obviously, being from here, but just coming here again today just good feel and um, it'll be fun tell me about your game how will I know when Hunter's on his game tomorrow night oh you'll know I'm there <laughs> you'll know I'm there um, no but I'm a big body like I like I like to play physical and, and move my feet and, and put pucks in the net make plays I kind of do it all I'm a, I think I'm a rounded player and um, people should look for that when we talk about teams making the jump from the ACHA to the NCAA, typically they'll tell me, the coaches anyway, that they want big, physical, hard, hard to play against guys because that's something you can't um, replicate. You can't replicate talent, speed, all that stuff, especially in your first year. So you expect to be heavy and big out there. You guys are, yeah, have the size, right? Yeah, I mean, we definitely have a lot of big guys, so that's going to be great. I mean, obviously... This is my senior year, and I've had I've had years of preparation and training, so I'm a big guy, and um, I'll be moving out there. Tell me about what would be at the end of this year uh, considered a success for the first year of this program. You know what? I think uh, I think taking games like these out here in Minnesota, like people are going to overlook us and not think it's possible. But I to I totally believe in us. I believe in myself. I believe in. Our, our university, our team, like I think we can take one or one or even two games at places that people don't expect, you know, and I don't I don't want to say like we're going to win 500 or we're going to win, you know, 800 of our games, but it's going to it's going to be people. I don't think people are going to expect it. And if we do lose, it's going to be a fight. So, you know, that's that's what you're going to get the best out of us. You have a lot of games on the road this year just being new. That's part of part of the growing pains of yeah. jumping into NCAA hockey. Um, your thoughts on that? Uh, you know what? It's just a part of the game. Like if you grow up playing, like you learn that you have to travel and it's just it's just hockey, it's a sport. So honestly the best thing we can do is is, you know, get here a day early, prepare, you know, rest our bodies, get sleep, get good food and, and be ready for for whatever and whoever we're playing. Like when it comes down to it, it doesn't matter if you're playing at two PM or seven PM. It's once you get on the ice it's go time, so you just gotta be ready. You touched about Coach Zombo and how important he was to you coming over here. Talk about his style and his coaching style. Obviously, it fits with you. Yeah. I mean, it's super It's super fast. It's a fast game, which is how I like to play. I like to keep moving my feet. Um, he wants us to have the puck. I want to have the puck on my stick. Um, so it's it's great because, you know, we, we all want to score goals on our team, and that's how we're going to have to beat other teams. Like, at the end of the day, we're going to have to put pucks in the back of the net to win games. So. Okay, no secret, you guys have some veteran goaltenders that came on board. So tell me a little bit about them and what you've seen from them, at least in practice. Yeah, I mean, literally, I think we could go with any any three of them. We could literally pull a, pull out of a hat which one we want to go with each night. So I think we're pretty lucky and grateful to have that. Um, obviously, Bernie, he was here last year. He's awesome. Yeah, I came in and he's just he's solid ladder from. Canisius is one of my roommates actually and he's a great he's a great guy and he moves well in the net so and then and then Roni he's he's a little smaller but he's quick and he'll like take pucks when you don't think they're going to be taken so they're all three good and you know what we're super lucky okay final one for you how does it feel as a Minnesota kid who grew up here played here to know that you're going to have a, a pretty packed barn tomorrow night to uh, open your college season for Lindenwood yeah, I mean, it's going to be obviously incredible. I'm super grateful to have this experience again. Um, coming from Minnesota, I played, I've played games in here, but you never know like when the last game will be in this place. And for me growing up here, it's pretty, pretty surreal like, to have my fam family here and, and just to be playing in my home state is, is obviously amazing. So for me, it's going to be, it's going to be a great experience. I'm going to soak it all in. Hunter, appreciate your time. Good luck tomorrow night and the weekend, and certainly good luck this season. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Yeah. Well, welcome in, hockey fans. It's a historic weekend happening again in NCAA hockey. Lindenwood Lions making their mark, joining the NCAA ranks. I got a freshman, and I got one from Minnesota, from Chaska. I've got Shane Laval with me. Laval? Am I close? Yep. All right. All right. I want to make sure I got it right. Um, 
Shane, first of all, you first skated on the, uh, the ice here at uh, Mariucci Arena. What were your thoughts? Um, considering I played here a couple years ago in sections, um, it felt good to get back out there, and I'm ready for some redemption. <laughs> I'm ready for redemption, says the Minnesota kid. I love it. Um, tell me about Lindenwood and, and what it means to uh, make this jump, and you being a freshman here and all that good stuff. Um, I'm really excited to come in here, and I think we got a great group of guys. Um, we kind of all been overlooked for a while now, so I'm um, ready to come in, and I think we're all ready to go here. So you guys make the jump from national championship at the ACHA D1 level. Your thoughts on how big the difference is going to be between that and facing the number two team in the country in NCAA hockey? Um, like I said, I think we're ready to go. Um, we're all well prepared. And when you get out there, there's only one puck. So <laughs> the um, I'd say just speed, yeah. fast, faster, fastest. Um, nothing we can't handle. We're all ready. And I think we'll be good out there. We know your schedule is going to be jam-packed this year with a lot of travel and some really good competition. I think it might be the toughest schedule in NCAA hockey. Your thoughts on that? Um, seeing that schedule come out um, one by one, I just kept getting more and more excited. Get to go all these historic stadiums and play. It's just really cool. Tell me about this team. You've seen it now up close and personal for a couple of weeks. You guys have been practicing. Where, where does the strength lie? Um, I think how close of a knit team we are. Um, we all came together fairly quick, and we just have such a good chemistry out there, and I think it's going to correlate to games fairly well. You come from a program, um, or at least the, uh, the Lindenwood program, is, is a uh, program of champions, right? They kept winning, winning, winning. Um, how, does, how does that translate to playing NCAA hockey now? Um, I'd say that... Once you establish a winning culture, uh, you just want to keep that going. So, as I said, we just want to win here. Any thoughts on what you can expect from the crowd here at Minnesota? They can get pretty rowdy. You know that. Yeah, it can get rowdy here. Um, growing up, going to the games, I've always envisioned going out here and playing. So, I'm super excited. I'm ready for this place to be packed. Tell me about the road trip getting up here. You guys busted up here. Uh, excitement level is, uh, is where right now? Oh, it's through the roof. We're so ready to come out there and play. Um, we've been thinking about this game since since we stepped on the ice together. So we've been preparing nonstop. Tell me about growing up in Chaska and playing hockey here in Minnesota. You touched a little bit about playing, uh, having the opportunity to play here in a sectional. Um, big time Minnesota high school hockey. So what was it like for you growing up? Growing up, it, I mean, it's all hockey here in Minnesota. Um, you play for your hometown. You, you get your whole high school there at the games. There's nothing better. And bringing it back here, it's just going to be so fun. What have you been able to tell your teammates about what they can expect from Mariucci Arena in Minnesota? Um, I think they know it's going to be rowdy here, state of hockey. So I think they're coming in ready. Tell me a little bit about playing for uh, Coach Zombo. He's uh, got a ton of experience not only coaching but playing. Uh, how much does that mean to you guys and to be able to settle you down and calm you down? Yeah, um, he's a great coach and just knows so much about the game, and that only helps us as players develop even more. So you go from here, and I know you're taking them one day, one day and one game at a time, but you know what lies ahead. What, what at the end of the year is going to calculate or uh, set with you as being a really good season? I mean, we're just taking it step by step, as you said, and we're going to focus on each game and getting better week by week and go from there. Well said, Shane. I appreciate your time. Uh, good luck this weekend. Good luck this season, and go Lions. Thank you. I appreciate it.